Hello, my dear students of Alpha Language School Secondary 2. Uh, this is Ms. Rada with you, and today we are going to complete our work with Upstream C1 Module 5. Module 5 uh, speaks about cause for concern. What do you mean by this? Think a little and let us discuss. Okay. Let's start with the module objectives where we are going to study some vocabulary about modern social problems, crime and punishment, social injustice and war problems, the environment, phrasal verbs concerning environment, preposition concerning social issues, and word information. We are going to read an article about environmental crime, in, uh, crime investigator and I want you to think about what actually we are going to read about. What is this? Topic means. We are going to, dis to revise some grammatical rules like the passive, personal, and personal structures, the causative, substitution, and ellipsis. In the listening part, we are going to listen to an interview and a monologue. Then we are going to discuss causes and results of an issue, and we are going to offer a solution and reach an agreement or a decision. We are going to write a report about social issues. Uh, we are going to do some focus on some language uh, like word often confused, idioms related to social issues and grammar books. Okay, uh, let's go back to the module and look at this. This is a web page. Okay, this web page is entitled Global Citizen, which we mean, what do we mean by Global Citizen? We mean uh, a citizen, a citizen that concerns or is concerned with the issues of the whole world. Global means something that concerns the whole world. We, uh, as we are going to see, we are going to deal with the issue of education. We are going to deal with the issue of development, uh, inequality, and poverty. Okay. All of these are issues that concern the whole world, either developed or developing countries. But to help us understand what's going on, let us watch this video. Global citizen. There are so many social issues that we face in the world today. Let's take a look at a few of these problems and some possible solutions. Right to an education. 26% of the world's population is illiterate. 98% of these people come from developing countries. A solution would be for local authorities to offer free reading support programs at schools and in workplaces to help out. Sustainable development. Many finite resources are being consumed so quickly that they will be exhausted in the next 50 years. Nations all over the world should promote the use of renewable resources. That would be much better for the environment too. Gender inequality. On average, women working full-time earn 23% less than men around the world. I think companies should be encouraged to pay equal salaries to men and women. Perhaps businesses which continue to pay unequal wages could be fined. Extreme poverty. 32% of the world's population does not have access to adequate sanitation facilities such as toilets. A lot of developing countries struggle to raise the money to tackle such problems. It would be helpful if charities donated funds to local governments to help them invest in public infrastructure. What other important social issues affect people around the world? What do you think can be done to solve these problems? Okay, I hope you have got an idea about what's going on and we are going to fill in the space. Uh, concerning each issue here. Yeah. Uh, to an education means the right to an education, yes. Everyone uh, has the right to be educated, but actually this is a problem because not everyone ha uh, 
have access to education. For example, 26% of the world's population is illiterate, which is uh, a, a huge a huge percent concerning the age we are living in, uh, the age of uh, technology. 98% of them are living in developing countries, which is a disaster actually, because it's a very, very big percent. 98% of the 26% lives in developing countries. Developing countries need educated people to help uh, solving uh, the problems there. Okay, what about development? Okay, let's try. Yes, okay, yes, sustainable development, which means continuous development, which means unfinished. Okay, it's all over uh, our life. So, many finite, that's correct, because they are going to come to an end, so they are finite. Resources such as oil are being consumed at such dramatic rates uh, that will be exhausted in the next 50 years. So, think about a solution for this problem. Inequality, yes, gender inequality, and gender equality means, yes, either to be a female or a male, and inequality means you are not treated in the same way. You are not, uh, there is injustice in the treatment here. Women employed full time earn on average 23% less worldwide than their male counterparts, which is actually injustice. And this is not only in the developed countries, but all over the world. Poverty, okay, extreme poverty, which we can find all over the world. People are living in extreme poverty. They don't have uh, money to live in, uh, uh, let us uh, say, in uh, uh, convi uh, 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 convenient uh, uh, circumstances. No nothing is there. 32% uh, of the world's population doesn't have access to adequate sanitation, which is a very, again, it's a disaster. Uh, because one of the uh, biggest uh, uh, solutions for the virus we are living with nowadays is to clean our homes, clean our uh, uh, hands regularly. So when we have lack of sanitation, we can have a spread of the virus. So it's a very uh, important uh, issue actually to deal with. Okay, let's complete. How can we find, uh, uh, or how can we uh, solve these problems? We have a number uh, of solutions here. What solution could uh, there be for such issue? From A to D, choose from the ideas below and add any of your ideas. We have encouraged uh, companies to pay equal salaries to men and women, promote the issue of renewable resources, invest in uh, public infrastructure, offer free reading support programs at school in, uh, or in workplaces. Of course, it's to offer free reading support. Okay, if you have any other uh, ideas, just uh, write them down. Okay, sustainable development. How can we solve this problem? Yes, by promoting the use of renew renewable resources, like what excellent students like uh, uh, the solar energy, okay, this is a very good uh, solution actually, okay, okay, let's complete, uh, gender inequality, yes, encourage companies to pay equal salaries, very good, and the last one, extreme poverty, invest in public infrastructure, okay? What do you mean by infrastructure? It means, yes, the, uh, uh, the things uh, uh, the government do to allow uh, uh, or to provide houses with water, electricity, and uh, uh, this is what we actually uh, and, uh, we call infrastructure, okay? Okay, let us complete. Uh, 
what social issues do you think are most important to rank the social uh, issues in order of importance? And this is up to you, okay? Uh, for me, all of them are very, very important. But it's up to you and it's your uh, opinion. Listen. I ranked it highest because education gives people options and allows them to figure out how to solve their problems for themselves. Okay. This is one idea. I ranked it second because poverty is the root cause of a lot of the other social problems. I ranked it third because destroying the environment harms plants and animals, and not just humans. I ranked it lowest only because solving the other problems makes this one less likely to appear. Poverty and lack of education both create gender inequality. Also, people have the most personal power to eliminate gender inequality by not accepting it in their own lives. Okay, now, what about you? How are you going to rank these uh, social issues? Rank them, giving your reasons, and we are going to discuss them in class, inshallah. Okay. Before we leave, uh, I want you to read these words of wisdom. You must be the change you want to see in the world. It's a very important one. You must be the change you want to see in the world. Mahatma Gandhi. Okay. What do you think? What do you think he means? Okay. Or he meant by these words, which are very effective, actually, words and uh, uh, unwise words. Okay. So they are, uh, they are very effective. Okay. And meaningful, actually. So let us listen to the interpretation here. This quote makes a very important point about how we can deal with social issues in our societies. It reminds us that the responsibility to be a force for good falls to each and every one of us. If we want the world to be a better place, it's up to us to bring about positive change. Very good. So we have to start with ourselves in order to change. Thank you very much for uh, following me. Until we meet again, I hope you all good luck. Thank you very much.